Hello and welcome to Novel Tech. On today's video we'll be looking at the Just Call Me Coco Marauder C5 adapter for the Flipper Zero. And for full disclosure Just Call Me Coco sent me these items for review. Today we're reviewing the Marauder C5 adapter from Just Call Me Coco, a sleek little board that unlocks dual band Wi-Fi analysis on your Flipper Zero using the ESP32 C5. It's compact, powerful and comes ready to roll with a custom 3D printed enclosure. Let's dig in. The C5 adapter is designed to pair with your Flipper Zero with the ESP32 C5 dev kit C1. This enables the Marauder firmware to run with support for both 2.4 GHz and 5.8 GHz Wi-Fi. That's a serious upgrade over the usual ESP32-S2-S3 setups. The adapter arrives pre-assembled, housed in a snug 3D printed case with a pin protector. A thoughtful touch for field use and durability. So let's talk hardware. The adapter routes UART and power between the flipper and the ESP32C5. The key features include a dual UART header so you can expand further with the additional ports. It's got a clean silk screen labeling. And as you can see it has a compact footprint that fits flush with the ESP32C5 dev board. The Marauder C5 adapter also comes with a GPS patch antenna which takes care of all your war driving needs. And as you can see also included is a beautiful 3D printed enclosure with pin protector for safer transport. The enclosure is well designed with no rattling and no misalignment, it's clear Just Call Me Coco built this with real world use in mind. Now flashing the Marauder C5 adapter is a little bit different to what you would expect with other Marauder devices given that we have web flashes these days. To flash the Marauder C5 adapter you first need to install Python on the machine that you'll be using. In my case I'll be using Windows so I'll install from the official python.org website. I won't go through how to install Python here, but if you want me to deeper dive into the installation process for the firmware, please let me know in the comments. So once you have Python installed on your computer, you then need to download the Marauder master file. So once you have downloaded the ESP32 Marauder master file, extract the folder and unzip so you can actually use it. Open the main folder and scroll down to C5PY Flasher. And we're going to copy this directory location. Now just for security reasons I've blurred this out, but for each computer this will be different. But you just copy the directory location here, and then we open command line, and we type in cd. And now we are in the directory of C5PY Flasher. And going back to the instructions, with the ESP32C5 device unplugged, execute python c 5 flashercpy So now we just paste that in. Now I had already installed this on my computer, for you it might take a little bit longer. So now it tells us that it's waiting for the ESP32C5 device to be connected. So we plug our USB-C cable into the UART port. And now it asks, ready to flash these files to the ESP32C5, yes or no? In this case we're going to say yes. And now it is complete. We now have Marauder on the ESP32C5 dev board. So unplug, and we're ready to go. And so the installation process for the C5 adapter was a little bit more involved than what you would typically expect with a web flasher, but it was still rather simple. So what is the use case of the Marauder C5 adapter? Well, it's good for Wi-Fi reconnaissance in dual band environments. It's good for educational demos on wireless security. It's also good for field testing with Flipper Zero as a controller, and it expands your Marauder toolkit without bulky gear. The included enclosure and flipper power design make it ultra portable. No USB battery packs, no loose wires. So what are my final thoughts? For around $30, the Marauder C5 adapter is a must-have if you're serious about Wi-Fi analysis. It's simple, effective, and unlocks capabilities that were previously out of reach for most flipper users. The fact that it's powered by the flipper and ships with a custom enclosure makes it even more compelling. There are other options on the market such as the BW16 board, but that is not compatible with the Marauder firmware on the Flipper Zero. It's simple, effective and unlocks capabilities that were previously out of reach for Flipper users. 
The fact that it's powered by the flipper and ships with a custom enclosure makes it even more compelling. If you're into wireless ethical hacking, this adapter is worth checking out. I'll drop links to the product and firmware in the description. Quickly looking at the Marauder C5 adapter plugged into the Flipper Zero, we go to Apps, we go to GPIO, we go to ESP, and then ESP32 Wi-Fi Marauder. And I'm sure many of you are familiar with the options available in here, but we can scan all. I'm going to blur this so you can't see my local Wi-Fi and dox me. And when we click on list, we get to see a list of all the different networks in that area, each numbered. And then to select a particular network, you just type in the number here. We have attack options such as DOF, Probe, and Rickroll. And with the built-in GPS, we can also war drive. Again, I'm going to blur this so you can't see my location. And we also have Evil Portal, which allows you to create a fake login page, targeted deauthentication, beacon spam, and sniff. We also have Signal Monitor, we get the channels, LEDs, and GPS data, and then we have settings as well. We also have List SD, and as you can see on the side here, we have an SD card slot. And then we have the update option, so if you use the SD card slot, you can put the update file on the SD card, an update direct from the flipper to the latest version of Marauder. We also have help, reboot, info, scripts, and save to flipper SD card. And that's the list of options there available from the flipper. I do not believe Bluetooth is available with the Marauder C5 adapter, but hopefully there'll be something that's available in the future. Going over to the Just Call Me Coco website, we can see that the next drop is the RTL SDR V4 kit which is a small, compact, USB-powered, software-defined radio. We can also see on the page that they've got some new clothing items in, and a collection of ESP32 chips. Going over to the page for the Marauder C5 adapter for the Flipper Zero, we can see the details here, and unfortunately at the moment it's sold out, but a new drop should be due soon. I also want to take a quick look at the Flipper Zero dev board expansion enclosure, which Just Call Me Coco sent me. Absolutely love the colour, and I'm very fond of their logo. Looking at the pictures, you can also see that the case has space for a GPS expansion module that Just Call Me Coco also sells. And going over to its page, you can see the Wi-Fi dev board GPS expansion, which adds GPS capabilities to the original Wi-Fi dev board, along with an SD card slot and activity LEDs. Hit like if this video helped and subscribe for more hands-on reviews, and let me know in the comments what gear you want to see next on Noble Tech.